Hello all, we'll discuss about organic reagents now. Organic reagents are generally of two types, electrophiles and nucleophiles. Electrophiles and nucleophiles, the meaning of electrophiles is, electron is negatively charged, the negatively charged loving groups. So electron loving group simply you can say electron loving groups are electrophiles so they are given by plus charge in the end nucleophiles means they are given by nu minus these are nucleus loving we know that nucleus is positively charged so positive charge loving groups that's why they are nucleophiles nucleus loving groups are nucleophiles electron loving groups are electrophiles so we'll discuss about electrophiles now Electrophiles must have a positive charge so that we can say that these are having less electrons than required. Otherwise, these may be neutral. If they are neutral, they must be electron deficient. We will discuss both the conditions one by one. So, two types of electrophiles are possible. One is charged electrophiles second one is neutral electrophiles we will discuss about this in detail first we will go with charged electrophiles charged electrophiles means which are having charges like H plus you can take H plus H plus is one good example CH3 plus Cl plus Br plus I plus all these are good examples but don't consider sodium plus or potassium plus first A group magnesium plus 2 calcium plus 2 type ions which are of second A group aluminium plus 3 and ammonium plus these are cations definitely cations but not electrophiles these are not electrophiles we don't consider them as electrophiles they are not in need of electrons these are not considered so the other examples if you want you can take no2 plus no plus so3h plus all these kind of groups are okay these are all electrophiles now we'll go with the neutral Neutral electrophiles are of three, four different categories. One by one we will discuss. The one is electron deficient molecules. These are generally formed by second group and third group elements like BeCl2, BCl3, BF3, BBr3, all BX3 type of compounds, even AlCl3 type of compounds, all these are electron deficient. All are in need of electrons. BCLT, if you consider there are only two bonds, means four electrons are over. Need of four more electrons. BCL3, BF3, BBR3, ALCL3. Three, three bonds each. So six electrons are over. In need of two more electrons. Lead and Cl2, you can take example. These are also. Along with this, CH3 dot. This is also neutral. Free radicals are neutral. CCL3 dot. So free radicals also you can consider as electrophiles. They are in need of electrons. Carbenes we were discussing dichlorocarbon, methylene carbene, all the carbenes, these are also neutral. So you can consider them also under the neutral category. Then few more examples we'll take which are neutral. Octate or superoctate is there means electrons are sufficient or more than sufficient but still they can accept electrons due to the presence of vacant d orbitals. So vacant orbitals are available with them. We will go with few examples SNCl4, SICl4 these are electron precise having exact 8 electrons so you can call them as electron precise but still Tin is having vacant orbitals. Silicon is having vacant orbitals. So because of vacant orbitals, they can accept electrons. So electrophiles, PCl5, 
SF6, IF7, these are having more than 8 electrons in the outermost shell. So these are called super octets. Super octet, still they have vacant orbitals in phosphorus, in sulfur, in iodine in these examples. So because of these vacant orbitals in these box atoms, you can consider them as electrophiles. So these are also electrophiles. Along with this, multiple bonds. Multiple bonds with more electronegative atoms. With more electronegative atoms. Like, this is one important point. Multiple bonds with more electronegative atoms. Carbon dioxide. If you take carbon dioxide, the electron pair will shift like this. So, it will be oxygen negative charge carbon plus charge carbon plus charge is the electrophile this is the electrophile because oxygen with negative charge is okay because more electronegative atom can be stable because of negative charge but this is not stable so because of this this is definitely electrophile so you can take all these examples like so2 so3 all these you can consider as examples and few cases you can take c double bond o type of group here this is more electronegative so in this case co minus and plus charge will come here two bonds will be there now this is a nucleophile this is a electrophile in this kind of cases which is more stable which is less stable you just check here oxygen with negative charge is okay but carbon with plus charge is not okay so it is more reactive you can consider this as electrophile but here nucleophile electrophile both groups are there now we'll go with some nucleophiles as we were discussing nucleophiles means nucleus loving groups nucleus loving means they must have negative charge or what are the other possibilities either negative charge or lone pair of electrons lone pair of electrons or negative charge is mandatory we will go with some charged ones negative charge groups like oh minus h minus sh minus ch3 minus any of these kind of groups if negative charge is there you can take not only these you can go with cl minus br minus i minus all these are you can consider as charge in nucleophiles along with this some neutral but having lone pairs lone pair of electrons mandatory example ammonia substituted amines rnh2 r2n r3n in all these cases there is a pair of electrons you can consider alcohol ether these kind of groups also you can take in place of oxygen you can take sulfur also thio ethers thio alcohols this is also accepted all these will be having definitely a pair of electrons you can take even h2s water all these also having lone pair of electrons whenever they have lone pair of electrons they can function PPH3 you can consider phosphorus is having um, a lone pair of electrons PH3 phosphorus is having a lone pair of electrons PPH3 also you can take but that will be a bigger one PPH3 triphenyl phosphate so when this kind of big groups are there the tendency of donating electron pair will be less that part we will discuss in nucleophilicity then interesting thing is about multiple bonds when there is a multiple bond between two similar atoms they can function like nucleophiles for example it will go like this it will come like this so this kind of resonance is possible and here negative charge is there this negative charge can function like nucleophile so all alkenes you can take all kinds you can take benzene also you can consider under the category of nucleophiles but these are not charged neutral nucleophiles all alkynes for example ch2 double bond ch2 is there 
if any group is there like h plus this can be given here so this pi 1 now wanted to turn into a sigma 1 because of this possibility it is now nucleophile but no charge neutral nucleophile so as we were discussing just now rcho type of groups are ketones acids acid chlorides in this the electron pair will move like this so oxygen will be getting negative charge carbon will be getting plus charge in these kind of cases we call them as both electrophile and nucleophile containing groups generally this will be more unstable so nucleophile is going to attack here in all these kind of cases so this is all about electrophiles and nucleophiles we will discuss few lines about nucleophilicity what is nucleophilicity the reactivity of nucleophile the reactivity of nucleophile is called nucleophilicity how it can react how fast it can donate the electron pair that is nucleophilicity we will go with few points when you consider charged one oh minus water the charged one is a stronger nucleophile sh minus h2s ammonia nh2 minus if you take this is having a pair of electrons this is having negative charge pair of electrons pair of electrons when negative charge is there negative charge is stronger than pair of lone pair of electrons so always charged one is more stronger nucleophile means when it is having negative charge that can be donated easily this is one point then ch3 minus nh2 minus OH minus F minus if you consider this is more electronegative more electronegative can hold negative charge properly so it won't give the negative charge so the nucleophilicity will be in this order nucleophilicity is more for less electronegative atom so what you can say inversely proportional to electronegativity less electronegative atom the negative charge can be easily donated when it can be donated you can say the nucleophilicity is more the reactivity is more so ch3 minus is stronger nucleophile than nh2 minus than oh minus than f minus remember this is most of the times asked question for me then one other group if you see down the group f minus cl minus br minus and i minus same concept iodine less electronegative less electronegative can easily donate the electron pair so i minus is a better nucleophile so what you can say in periods left to right electronegativity increases so nucleophilicity decreases in groups down the group electronegativity decreases so nucleophilicity increases one important point this this can be asked in examination one more last line we'll discuss and completely close this topic that is about the bulk groups bulky groups should not be there inversely proportional to nucleophilicity why very simple logic you see oh minus now this negative charge can be easily given to some other atom ch3o minus CH3 CH2 O minus CH3 C CH3 O minus CH3 taken thrice C O minus for example if you consider here only oxygen is there the attached atom is hydrogen so coming group can easily attack and, at, and can take the negative charge but in this case a tertiary butyl group is there which is already occupying majority of this space so coming group has less possibility to attack on this one see this is a methyl this is a methyl this is a methyl all these methyl groups are there then here O minus is there so because of this bulky groups the coming group possibility is less, less very less to attack on this one so small groups is much better OH minus is much better than CH3 taken thrice C O minus so nucleophilicity four points we were discussing electronegativity it is inversely proportional 
bulky group it is inversely proportional less bulky group should be there less electronegative atom should be there and negative charge is much better than neutral so these points you can remember and whenever neutrophilicity order is given just answer in this way so we will meet some other time with some other time